Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into it, it'd be massively appreciated if you went ahead and dropped a like on the video. Cheers. The January transfer window has been a long drawn out process this campaign. We actually haven't seen much business done at all under Philip Clement. However, we have seen Fabio Silva join us on a loan deal until the summer. He has looked good since he joined us in Glasgow. He looks quick, hungry and willing to run and put in the effort in the final third. There has been plenty talk regarding transfers in January. However, like I said before, we have only seen Fabio Silva join the club right now, leaving plenty of people thinking will we even see more business done. So according to ibroxnews.com. Rangers remain torn on whether to sign Lawrence Shanklin, with a deal for the Hearts captain appearing to be doable if we do proceed with a bid. Shanklin has repeatedly been touted with a move to Ibrox in recent weeks after another strong campaign in front of goal domestically. The prolific forward is due to be out of contract at the end of next season, although Hearts do hope to tie him down to a new deal before then. Sky Sports News did provide an update on this situation, saying Rangers still want to bring in a forward player and there has been interest in Lawrence Shanklin. It's also being said that a deal for him would be straightforward, but we will perhaps have to move some players off the wage bill first. Amo need an agreement from top to bottom at the club that he is the right player to go for. It's been suggested that there's a lot of interest for him in Glasgow, but also some doubting voices who think that we should go for someone else in January. We also need to be mindful of the fact that Hearts will need to bring in a replacement so we can't drag our heels too much. As if it's left too long, Hearts might not have enough time to replace him and therefore might not sanction the deal. A new striker has to be at the top of Philip Clement's transfer list this window, and in Shankland we could sign a player ready to hit the ground running the day he signs for us in Glasgow. As a reminder, Shankland has 13 goals in the league this campaign, plus a further 5 in other competitions, and is, let's face it, a better option than Cyril Dezers. It is not known exactly how much he would cost, but should he not put pen to paper first signing a new deal with Hearts? A bid between 3.5 and 5 million should be enough. The second figure of 5 million is a tad on the steep side, but signing another player who can net double figures between now and the end of the campaign could definitely be the difference between finishing first and second. And on that basis, it does make sense to get the deal done now. So what do you guys think then? I think it's a good update on the situation, with Sky Sports saying a deal would be possible and straightforward. I think we definitely need to sign a striker who can score on a regular basis, and we definitely need that going into the future under Philip Clement. It will be interesting to see what happens from now until the window does close, and hopefully we do see a few more players signed up as we definitely need that for the second half of the campaign. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and subscribe for daily videos. Cheers.